final race as well, race number nine. Really good sprint here, 1,000 metre dash. Unfortunately, we go out with Jumbo Goal. He has been scratched, leaves us with a field of 10 now. Jumbo Goal is out, one of uh, Casper found. So the field he's headed by, this is a class three incidentally, over the 1,000 metre dash. Harmony and Bless, the last time he was here over 1,000 metres, he won. That's going back to October of last year. Hong Kong win is a two-time course and distance winner. We've got uh, Hong Kong Bet, who has the same stats. Two times he's won course and distance from just the seven stars. Party Warrior uh, behind season at the moment on his last two. Resolute, good second off the all-weather last time. Adios makes his uh, Hong Kong debut with the blinkers on for Frankie Law and Karis Teen Equal. Of Blitz and then Triple Triple. He's won twice here at Happy Valley. Both win those wins, though, have been over the 1200 metres. Right, we'll start, Mark, as we always do, with the, uh, the speed map for this uh, final event. And it uh, should be a good tempo uh, here, but again, who are the key runners to look out for? Yeah, it's got to be Harmony and Blessed Andrew. He's drawn barrier number four. He's got a great record over the thousand around Happy Valley. Three starts for two wins, end of placing. Didn't Paul seemed to be suited to class three on the all weather impacts. The all weather wasn't suited to class two in the two runs prior. He's back in class three now. He's back on the turf. He's a fast horse. He's over a thousand metres. He's going to give them plenty to catch. Yeah, look, I think you'll lead. Now, Edios is uh, first start here in Hong Kong, but he's shown speed in his trials and gone forward. He's also shown speed in his races in Australia before he got here. So I think he's going to be an on pace runner. And if he does jump well, which I think he will, it's going to make it a little bit harder, I feel, for Special M because Special M uh, likes to go forward as well. So he just might be able to be caught wide. Resolute uh, sat handier on the all weather last start. But back to the turf, I think he's going to look for a bit of cover. So he'll go back, I think, from barrier number seven. OK, all right. Adios, well named as well. It's out of a damn mare called Later Gator. Carries the same name. Paul Massara trained him uh, in Australia. Uh, we'll start off, though, with, um, well, with Adios himself. Not him, but the jockey, Karis Teeth. Karis Adios is a newcomer that you'll ride uh, in the final race on Wednesday night. I know you've trialled him. What, what else do you know about him? Yeah, I think it was the first time I I sat on him. He's a he's a, he's a nice little horse. He's got he's got some speed. Um, I think you know he's it's gonna be everything new for him. But uh, I think he's he's done everything right uh, for Frankie to send him to the races. And I guess as you say, he's you know he's a horse who's, who's going to find the, the valley perhaps a little bit interesting to what he has been doing in Australia. But he came here with form just on that trial. I mean, visually it, it looked quite impressive. Yeah, he's he's actually he's very sharp out of the gate and. He, 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 he does uh, offer you a lot of natural speed uh, for the first 400 metres, so that only could help him mm. to handle the valley. So it's a, good, it's a bit of a tricky gate, but if we can get him where he's comfortable, take the turn nicely, and let's hope he, he runs a good race. Yeah, I guess the natural speed is going to be key from, from out there. Just, I mean, assessing the race, I mean, as it is, obviously there are seasoned horses in there like Special M and, and Co. I mean, uh, very much an unknown, I suppose, with a horse like him off 63, but just a three-year-old. So I'm guessing that, you know, he's got a, 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 certainly a future ahead of him. Yeah, I think uh, he's, of course, going to be a host for next season. Uh, he's definitely going to be a better host for next season. So, like I said, he's ready to, to go for a run, and uh, let's hope he, he runs well, and, but we, we will see a better host next season. Well, for the future then, but uh, he starts with the blinkers on, Mark, and he wore the blinkers for that win in Australia as well at Gosford. He did, and he got around Gosford OK, and it's a pretty smallish uh, track as Gosford, so that uh, should be OK when it comes to Happy Valley. He hasn't raced since October, though, Paul, and he does meet some race-fit, rock-hard, decent sprinters for a Wednesday night. Yeah, I'm happy to watch him go around on debut here, and, and as Kara said, I think we'll see the best of him next season. OK, good to get a run into him at the back end of uh, this campaign. Let's look at some of the horses that we have seen uh, a few times this season, Special M being one of them, Paul, along with Triple Triple. He's been runner-up on his last three Special M. Yeah, he has, hasn't he? He's run into Stoltz a few times, unfortunately. There's no Stoltz in here, but just barrier 10, that, that's, a, that's the query. With He's got that Adios in between just next to him on the inside. So there's going to be that rush for that position outside the leader. So if uh, something goes wrong with Adios and, and he gets into a nice position, he's definitely a chance. I have to put him in. He's just mm. too consistent over the 1,000 metres around Happy Valor. We're about to see that here now. He's had the eight starts for two wins and five placings. He has been blessed by some good barriers in his career. Not this week. He's out in gate 10. So he's going to have to get more luck than what he's had. But he's honest. 
Yeah, one of those second placings as well was behind Nervous Witness. So he was beaten over three lengths, but Nervous Witness came out and was running a next second and a group three at Chartin on the weekend. So uh, worth bearing that in mind too. Party Warrior, uh, Mark, what about him along with uh, Equaletta Blitz? So winner three starts back, Party Warrior. He's coming back in a distance too, Andrew. He's been racing over the 1,200 metres. We have seen him pull over the 1,000 four times for three minor prizes. He's won two from 11. But on plenty of occasions, he can find a horse to beat him. And this was the case here with seizing the moment. Might have happened over a 1,000 again. Certainly got him in, but he doesn't win out of turn. No, yeah, you're right. Just the two wins this season. Uh, look, I, I'm with you. I've got him in the numbers as well. From barrier one, he's going to get a very economical run. I think he'd be about three back on the inside. So he'll definitely get his opportunity. OK, we can head to the, uh, the trials now. We'll see Special M again here, but uh, Hong Kong bets uh, Paul, what are his chances? Christo Matthew Chadwick, he's drawn wide. Yeah, look, he is drawn wide, and that was just a little query. He was right on the cuffs. There's nothing wrong with that trial, uh, Hong Kong bet. Uh, he'd been consistent those last uh, few starts, but um, didn't quite get him into the numbers in the end. Snuck him in for fourth because he wasn't too bad. We haven't seen him since December. This trial was good. Special M's been racing. Well, that's lucky fun who also has a motor on the outside of them. Barrier 11 is going to make it difficult, but if they do run along as anticipated and he can get over, he's never too far away, so sneaks in on a minor line. Mm. He'll move in one with a scratching, but it's neither here nor there. He's drawn the widest of all, isn't he? Um, as far as Matthew Chadwick um, is concerned, he's having a great season. Um, he's going to get the 50 for sure, Mike. Absolutely. Um, on that first page, we can see that far, far is the best of those for Paul. Noble Steed owner star might need some luck. Viva Chef's in a class five, so it's got to be some each way chance, and it's not a bad ride home either. No, he's got uh, Smiling City, he's been very consistent. He's a winner two starts ago. Uh, Hong Kong bet, obviously, a chance last in Jiangxi Stamina has won a couple of starts ago as well. Mm. I say he's going to make 50. It's easy for me to say, isn't it? But the way he's going, it's, uh, he's going to get the half century. Uh, one more race to have a look at, uh, Paul. This is uh, Harmony and Blessed and Hong Kong win. But if you go back, I say, to the last time he tackled 1,000 metres here at Happy Valley, he was a winner. He was, wasn't he? Look, I'm going to go with him as well because he's going to be in front, I think, out of trouble. We know he does like it here at the Valley. Now, the other horse I've snuck in as well, just on a minor line, is Hong Kong win. Uh, he's quite well rated now. He's had his last win was a couple of seasons ago, but it was off a rating of 86. He's now down to this rating of 80 now as well. So I think both these horses back at the valley, it's going to be good for both. That was a very good field on the turf there too. It was also over 1,200 metres. So back in trip is a plus. I think we just overlooked the all-weather runs and Blake's riding up a storm at the moment. So uh, Barry number four, a lot in his favour with Paul here. All right. Competitive race this one, Paul. Mm. Party Warriors short enough, I thought. Yeah, no, he has come up pretty short. You know, I'm quite happy about the 10s about the toppy here at this stage. I don't think he'll start anywhere near that, but he's on top, Harmony and Blessed. A party warrior should get the nice run. A Hong Kong winner is a well-rated horse in Special M who's been very consistent this season. So end up with numbers 1, 5, 2 and 3. With the one also, Harmony and Blessed, be nice if he does stay at the 10 quote. He's going to jump fast and he's going to give you a great side in front from barrier number 4. The 1,000 metres is where he does excel. Used to hold, might even still hold the track record around Happy Valley for the thousand, but uh, nonetheless, it is where he does enjoy racing over. Three special M, no luck with the barriers this week, so he's going to have to do it a little tougher. He's got the 130 pounds on, he's back from that wide draw as well. Five party warrior, too consistent to leave out, was a winner three starts ago. Does have 100 uh, 129 on his back for this race, and of the Hong Kongs, went bet just in front of win. From barrier number 11, more so on the trial and the fact he's been racing consistently and uh, both of his wins are course and distance. 1, 3, 5 and 4. I've gone Harmony and Blessed as well. Great minds uh, think alike as they say, but yeah, I'd be very happy if that, uh, that price holds up for him.